Well, this is exciting. In our SoCal Spotlight, we're taking you to Riverside for a trip back in time. Yeah, it's about 60 miles east of Los Angeles, nestled along the Santa Ana River. You're going to find the landmark Mission Inn. KCAL News reporter Sheba Turk joins us live with a look at its famous guests over the years. Sheba, I liked in one of your teases earlier, a guest right now was just walking down the stairs. <laughs> it's still functioning. There's another one. Well, Exactly. I said you get to be you get to be an extra on KCAL this morning. It is absolutely gorgeous in here. So I'm sure the guests that are with us this morning are having a wonderful time. This place has so much history, guys. It dates back actually to the 1800s. Let's speak with Philip Daly now. He is the general manager of the Mission Inn. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you, Sheba. This spot is gorgeous. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, it's an amazing hotel. Uh, it, the story is great. Uh, it started in 1876. C.C. Uh, Miller uh, came here with his family. C.C. Uh, Miller was actually a, a civil engineer, and he was building canals to bring water here to Riverside for the fledgling citrus industry. Uh, the Washington Naval Orange was here. And um, uh, the city was very young at the time. And in order to uh, give pavement, uh, they gave him a full city block uh, right here in downtown Riverside. And um, uh, he was uh, able to uh, build his own home here. And they eventually uh, took on borders. Uh, and the first guest arrived here November 22nd in 1876. Wow. Well, we are a long way from there now. Tell us who you're standing next to. Yeah, so the, uh, the, uh, Mr. Miller was called the, Misha, uh, the master of the inn. And behind me is Dwayne and Kelly Roberts, uh, who are our keepers of the inn. And they've been keeping alive uh, Mr. Miller's original vision and dream uh, since uh, 1992. Uh, so they are now um, the keepers of the inn here at this beautiful hotel. Wonderful. Well, kind of show me around because it's yeah. so gorgeous. I want viewers to see as much of it as possible this morning. It is beautiful. What is the story behind the architecture and the design? Yeah, well, the Millers were avid collectors and they traveled all over the world. Uh, through Europe and the uh, and Asia, and whatever they saw, they they grabbed and they uh, brought back here to the hotel, uh, really to uh, let our guests see how beautiful everything was. So in the early days, it was like a hotel and a museum, mm -hmm. so priceless works of art and art of, uh, artifacts and furnishings, and of course, uh, bells. Uh, we're all here for the guests uh, to see. Uh, it is quite amazing. So, um, and when the citrus industry really started to boom, a lot of our guests were uh, wealthy, prominent citizens. Mm -hmm. And so they were attracted here. And that was the vision that Mr. Miller had of building this grand hotel with uh, several wings that were built over the decades uh, and finishing in 1931. One of the things here, which is very popular with our guests, is President Taft's uh, chair. Uh, this was uh, made for uh, President Taft in 1909. Uh, you can imagine he was a bit of a large man, and this was a special chair for him, and it's been here ever, ever since then. Uh, we've welcomed um, several presidents here at the Mission Inn. Uh, in the 1930s, this was a very popular hangout with uh, Hollywood elites. Nice. And um, we've had everyone here from Paul Newman, Tom Hanks, Barbara Streisand, um, social luminaries like Booker T. Washington, uh, Amelia Earhart, the list goes on and on and on yeah, and on. It is very impressive. So, so much history, guys, and so much beauty. We'll be showing you more of the historic Mission Inn coming up throughout the show. I just love it. He's such a wealth of knowledge. And now I know that Taft was a large I man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's what I said, too. So large that he had his own special chair. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every day. Shiva, thank you. Fun you facts. do. Fun Thanks. Facts.